Yo, what's up? Ricky Sanders here. If you live for fast cars, greasy hands, and solving problems under the hood, welcome to your new favorite spot. I'm all about real fixes, no BS, and showing you how to keep your ride running like a champ. So go ahead, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and let's make some noise in the garage. Enough talk. Let's get ready. 120 horsepower at 5,600 RPM and 165 Newton meters of torque. Piston diameter, 79 millimeters. Working stroke of the piston, 91.5 millimeters. Compression ratio is 10 to 1. Timing system number of valves, 16. The camshafts are driven by a single row chain. Intelligently variable valve timing with VVTI. V variable V LV teaming with intelligence. Fuel supply system, MPFI, multi point distributed injection. Ignition system DIS 4 engine design after the MZ series, for the second time in its practice, Toyota produced a die cast, light alloy. Aluminum, cylinder block for the 1ZZ FE series engine. During the manufacturing process, cast iron, Thin walled liners were fused into the block. To maximize joint strength and improve heat dissipation, the outer surface of the liners was roughened. As a result, the 1ZZ engine weighed about 100 kilograms, lighter than similar units by about 30 kilograms. To simplify production and to make it possible to use molds when casting the block, an open cylinder cooling jacket was used. If you look at the casting from above, between the body of the cylinder block and the liner, all around that perimeter, there is a gap, deep to the bottom dead center of the piston bottom. The advantage of this design is that it is easier and cheaper to mass produce. The negative point is the loss of rigidity and strength. The alloy crankcase pan is also made in a special way. The line of its adherence to the block, coincides with the axis of the crankshaft and steel caps of main bearings are integrated into its housing. Due to this design increased rigidity of the entire block of cylinders, but there are problems with the selection of liners to overhaul the 1ZZ. Engine number of the 1ZZ FE model is applied vertically, in the upper part of the block, next to the exhaust manifold, on the gearbox side. For convenience, it is best to use a mirror. Crank mechanism due to the increased stroke of the piston, traction at low speeds is improved and heat lost through the walls of the combustion chamber, which is smaller than usual, is reduced. However, due to the fact that the piston moves faster than usual, there is a problem with the removal of oil from the walls, so the rings on the 1ZZ FE series engine, there are more serious requirements. To make the crankshaft more compact and reduce friction, the length and diameter of the crankshaft journals have been reduced, resulting in higher loads and faster wear. A pulley is mounted on the crankshaft to drive the auxiliary belt. Piston skirts are made lower in height to also reduce friction losses, but this had a negative effect on the cooling ability. The pistons were created T-shaped, and they started knocking much earlier when shifted to TDC compared to previous models. The pistons are connected to the connecting rods by floating pins, and the caps sit on bolts screwed directly into the bottom of the connecting rod. The cylinder head. Motor Series 1ZZ FE cylinder head is also made of light alloys. The shape of the combustion chamber is conical in shape so that when the piston approaches TDC, a swirl of the combustible mixture is formed near the spark plug helping it to burn more efficiently and with less risk of detonation, thereby improving performance. The valve seats are laser sprayed as opposed to pressed. They have a smaller thickness and better dissipate heat from the valves into the cylinder head body through the disc, not just the stem. Due to the low thickness of the sputtering and the thinner valve stem, it is possible to increase the diameter of the seats, therefore increasing the flow of intake air and exhaust gases. As a consequence, due to the lack of pressed seats, the 1ZZ head cannot be repaired. Engine series 1ZZ FE is not regulated by washers, they were replaced by adjusting pushes of different thickness, which greatly complicated the adjustment process. 
Because of the difficulties in the adjustment and increasing the cost of this procedure, car owners began to refuse such a procedure, which also did not lead to anything good. Lubrication system manufacturers recommended oil with SAE5W30. Oil circulation is provided by a gear pump, driven directly from the crankshaft and located on the front timing cover. The filter is positioned vertically, mounting upwards, at the bottom of the engine. This positioning of the filter element helps to overcome the problem of oil starvation of the engine during starting. Cooling system in the 1ZZFE engine. Antifreeze is pumped through the cylinder block in a circle by a water pump driven by a belt, which also works on other auxiliary mechanisms. The thermostat activation temperature is around 83 degrees Celsius. Timing drive. The drive of the timing mechanism began to be carried out with a chain in one row, with an 8mm pitch and adjustment by means of a hydraulic tensioner. Ideally, the chain drive of the timing mechanism is more reliable than a belt and there is no need for frequent replacement. But in this case, judging by the feedback of car owners and mechanics, the solution was not quite successful, there appeared an additional detail, a hydraulic tensioner, not very reliable on two odors, compared to the roller tensioning the belt. There are also fast-wearing components, tensioner and tensioner shoe. The cost-effectiveness of chain drive maintenance compared to how often the belt needs to be replaced is debatable. Usually, according to the regulations, the chain must be replaced after reaching 200,000 km of mileage, but if it is in good condition and not stretched, you can extend its life. But it happens that by the mileage of 150,000 km, the stretching of the chain can reach a critical level, it begins to rattle and can violate the phases of timing because of the displacement of the correct position of the crankshaft and camshafts relative to each other. Moreover, when replacing the chain, on the engine model 1ZZFE, it is recommended to install new components of the drive, the hydraulic tensioner, caliper, and sprockets, because the parts with work can lead to accelerated wear of the new chain. The camshaft sprocket controlling the intake valves should not be replaced because it is combined with the VVTI drive, a brief description of which is given below. The first engines produced were without a variable valve timing function. But after about a year of initial production, the 1ZZ engine was equipped with this useful feature. VVTI Toyota's VVTI timing control system smoothly rotates the camshaft in relation to the drive sprocket depending on the engine S operating mode. The maximum rotation is 60 degrees. The drive itself is a rotor with blades. Prior to starting, a special stopper locks the shaft in the position of maximum late ignition to ensure optimum starting conditions. The solenoid valve, at the command of the controller, controls the flow of oil entering the cavities of the mechanism, providing a delay or advance of phases. The controller, in turn, reads information from sensors that control the positions of camshafts. Intake and exhaust manifolds compared to previous motors, the location of the manifolds has changed. In the 1ZZ FE engine, the intake manifold is placed at the front and the exhaust manifold at the rear. In this way, it was planned to ensure rapid heating of the neutralizer in cold weather by the heat coming from the engine, in order to comply with environmental standards. A longer intake manifold helps improve mid to low speed response. But, when positioned at the front, it is virtually impossible to make it long. Because of this, the fully cast manifold is removed, and instead, on the initial versions it was produced in the form of four aluminum ducts welded to a single flange. The negative feature of this design is the unreliability of the welded joints. On the positive side, the aluminum surface of the ducts is smoother compared to castings. In conclusion, the Toyota 1ZZ FE engine stands out for its impressive blend of efficiency and performance, making it a popular choice in various models. With a displacement of 1.8 litres and a power output that meets the demands of everyday driving, this engine showcases Toyota's commitment to reliability and innovation.
Its design features, including a dual overhead camshaft and variable valve timing, enhance both power delivery and fuel efficiency. Understanding the intricacies of each system within the 1ZZFE, from the intake to the exhaust, provides valuable insight into its engineering excellence. Whether you're a car enthusiast or simply looking to learn more about this versatile power unit, the Toyota 1ZZ FE engine remains. A noteworthy example of automotive design and functionality. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found this exploration of the 1ZZ FE engine informative.